good Charm City crew. My name is Matt. I am a shoe collar worker here at Charm City Run. We are the soul of the city, and we've got all the hot takes on the latest and greatest in the running world. As you know, it's 2021. Get out, get active, and let's look at a shoe to charm your socks off. On this month's episode of Shoes to Charm Your Socks Off, we have the Saucony Canvara 12. So this is going to be a neutral shoe. Uh, if we look in here, you don't see that posting or guide rails for a traditional stability shoe. Uh, so if you are someone who needs stability, I recommend just throwing an insole in there. I recommend Atrex, Curex, or Superfeet. All great options to enjoy this very lightweight shoe. And so you may see this and think, okay, it's very lightweight, so it's a good speed shoe for shorter distances and tempo workouts. That is all true, but it is actually a great long distance shoe as well. I have trained for multiple half marathons in this shoe, as well as ran my very first marathon in this shoe. So I really love it for longer distances as well. So if we're going to break down some of the technology in here, let's start bottom up. Uh, so if we look at our outsole, you can see it's very reduced. We just have a little bit of rubber here on the heel and then on the big toe for a little bit of extra protection. But after that, we really keep it an exposed midsole. And so with that, they want to have a more connected feel to the ground. You get a lot more out of the shoe and out of your stride that way. Uh, with uh, the Canvara, they've always had this chevron pattern on the bottom here. Not only does it give it a better grip, but it's better for distributing the shock absorption for every step, as well as keeping the foot uh, flexing with the shoe so it feels as just um, an extension of your foot. And so uh, moving more into that midsole, it is going to be that brand new Saucony Power Run. They moved from their Ever Run a couple years ago. The first one to have it was the 11. And so they're keeping it going in the 12, just makes your ride a little bit bouncier and more responsive. Uh, moving up to the top sole here, still gonna be very lightweight, breathable, kind of that sock upper fit that makes it nice and contoured. Uh, that's gonna be their form fit upper. And I personally, Think that they should do that for all of their Saucony shoes. I think it's the best upper that they have on their shoes and it just always feels good to slide into. Uh, and then let's see, differences between the 12 and the 11. Like I said, the 11 was the first one to have that power run outsole. I think the 11 was a little bit more durable, whereas the 12 makes you feel a little bit more connected again, more of that traditional Canvara feel. Uh, I've been following the Saucony Canvara since the third iteration of it and I personally think this is the best one since the eighth. Uh, so yeah, really love following the Canvara there. Uh, other changes they made, this is actually going to be the widest toe box of a Canvara that they have made to date. Saucony is known for having that wider toe box, so if you like having a little bit of extra space in the shoe for your toes to splay out, the Canvara is really great for that. Um, another design change that they made, uh, you have that nice dovetail in the back just for some aerodynamics and patterning. And I mean, the colors are great on this one as well. Uh, you really get a, a cool shot of Saucony's logo there. That's the Saucony Creek uh, in Pennsylvania. Really cool that they modeled it after that. And the three circles are the boulders that run through that creek. So it's really cool, kept it local. Um, let's see, uh, the drop on this shoe is going to be four millimeters and it retails at a cool $110. Really great price for a shoe that can really do it all. Uh, if I were to compare this shoe to another shoe or a few that I would pull with it, I'd probably recommend the Hoka Rincon, the Brooks Launch, and the Under Armour Flow. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to pass it over to another lifelong Canvara runner. Her name is Kristen. She is our marathon coach here. And yeah, without further ado, Kristen, let's run it. run in the Saucony Canvara 12s and I have to say I really like this version. What I love about the Canvaras in general overall is that they're a super versatile shoe so you can wear them for speed work, track workouts, tempo runs, or um, they hold up really well to longer runs, long runs, um, easy runs. I've even put full marathons on the Canvaras in the past. Um, this version definitely feels a little bit more lightweight, bouncy, a little bit more connected to the ground, but I still feel protected from the impact. 
I also noticed that the toe box is nice and wide, which is great, especially for the summer months when it's really hot and our feet get bigger and swell up. So I would definitely recommend the Convara 12s, especially if you're looking for a speed shoe to add into the rotation or just for a do-it-all shoe. Thank you, Kristen, for that analysis. Uh, just to reiterate, the Saucony Convara 12 is your shoe to charm your socks off this month. And let us know in the comments below, will you and the Convara 12 be soulmates? Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment below on your thoughts on the Saucony Convara 12. And also, before you go, we are going to be doing a raffle this month for a shoe giveaway. Uh, that will be a chance to get a virtual or in-person fitting with me to get a Saucony shoe of your choice. In order to be entered for the raffle, please share and subscribe to this video so that you will have a chance to win a Saucony shoe. Until the next one, Charm City crew, live, give, run. That's the mantra. Let's run it.